Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I've decided to try and jump down there for if I don't get down there I'll end up having to do a loop anyway to get back to that room with the two treasure chests So I might as well give this a shot Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh, it actually pushed me away from the platforms. Did you see that? So maybe that's not possible to do after all Hmm that is quite the interesting turn of events. But anyway, let's go back to that room with the two treasure chests and see what I can do now that I have a bunch of hook, to hook shot targets up there, excuse me. This is the room that I was referring to here. The, uh, Liz of False likely will be respawning, which is kind of sucky. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm on this upper level, so it's like, well, who cares? <laughs> so... Now, that thingy up there, that switch, is that something that I can actually hit? That is the question. Because I know some items can get through these things. Yes, that can. Interesting, interesting indeed. And I see some crates that I can pick up. So that means I can now get inside that room with the uh, that, that bluish greenish switch that I couldn't uh, open up before, if you recall that. But I also noticed that there is a treasure chest in this room. Either it's, ah, there it is. Or I should say this little corner of the room. And I get bombs. I guess that's good. Hmm. But what's better here is one of these little crates. And I intend on using it. But I just am very curious as to what this thing is here. I'm going to plop that down gently and then take care of you because you're kind of going to get in my way while I try and figure out this puzzle. Ow, why did you... How in the world did you manage to hit me? Now this, this right here, this is a mystery. <laughs> Unless holding down the switch on the other side opens that gate... Or something? I'm having trouble smelling out the solution this time, I guess. Uh, well, through this room, I guess. <laughs> Wherever this leads us. And see what's up. This is a Goron. So you likely have a key. Hello there. Yeah, yeah, I am. What else? What do you have to say that's exactly the same as your brother's? Mm. Yes, I did. I've demonstrated that a couple times during this walkthrough. <laughs> anyway, you can't really be on fire while uh, you're wearing the fire tunic, so I guess that's a, a non-issue unless your fire tunic gets eaten. But that's a much bigger issue than being on fire, that's for sure of the fact that you'll have to go back to the Goron shop and buy uh, another one for 200 rupees, providing that you can't get it back. Now, there's a locked door somewhere. But first, I gotta get back up there. No, 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 I don't want to climb up. Well, actually, that does give me a good vantage. Oh! Vantage points. Over there, okay. So that is our next room. Ooh! Trying to ambush me as I go past, are you? Well, you failed miserably. Ooh and... Open says me. Uh-oh. This room. This room, I recall, was the bane of my existence on my first run through this game. I don't remember why it was, but it was. <laughs> And usually when I don't remember why it was, that makes the puzzle even more dastardly because that means I have to figure it out from the very beginning again. So what was the puzzle in this room? Perhaps those golden torches? Maybe? Might be. I see there's a box that I can use for that switch up there. In fact, there's a bunch of boxes that I can use for that switch over there. Mm -hmm. It's funny, I don't see any treasure chests, so maybe it's just uh, this puzzle room and that's it. Well, before I figure out this room, I suppose I should check out this door. 
Oh no! I'm gonna have to come back through there again, aren't I? <laughs> well, that sucks. Okay, so there is that right there. And I'm going to hookshot myself across there just to be safe. And this was actually the thing that I wanted to jump down on from way, way, way up there that I failed earlier on. So I guess it's not that bad coming here. Maybe. Oh, man. This was an exit tunnel shaft thingy. Dang it! Back up to that room, I suppose. And so we're back in this room. But this time we're not going to that door. We're going up there. Now, you'll notice that I left the crates around this room my first time around. Well, that was because I... Because those crates act as hookshot targets, basically. Now, even if they hide stuff underneath them, it would be much more worth it to, you know, just leave them be until I know if there's something worthwhile underneath. Like, I'd be able to... Or at least I think I would be able to hear if there's, like, a Skulltula underneath one of the crates. Well, maybe. <laughs> um... How do I get out of... Oh, the crate. Derp derp. And I bet you... Oh, this door leads to that other room. So that was where that other bar door was. Okay. This is making sense now. And that's kind of scaring me that things are actually making sense to me. <laughs> anyway, let's actually see what's inside some of these crates that we don't need now. At least I don't think we'll need, because I don't think I'll have to come back up here to solve this puzzle. I didn't see anything <clears throat> anything else up there. Curse these allergies. I'm getting more and more mucusy by the second. And... What the? What? You give me a fairy when I shoot you? What? I didn't I didn't expect that at all. I just decided to shoot that face because that other because I had to shoot that other face basically. And well it worked out. But what what is the puzzle of this room anyway? Because on uh, normal circumstances, you are able to get over to that door over there and just go through it, basically. If I'm not mistaken. But I believe there's like some firewalls around here in the original. I could be wrong, though. You know me. Hmm. Yeah, no, no, no. I would like to... Thank you. Why is it so hard to break those crates sometimes? I will never understand that. Oh, and here's a fun little trick that you can do. Uh, although I'm not sure it's a good idea to try this without... Oh, that crate on the other side. But, uh, yeah, you can walk across there if need be quickly. But... What am I supposed to do here? <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hello there, Torch. I didn't see you up there. But you're pretty far out of the way. Is there any more like that in this room? Well, I could probably light it by shooting an arrow through one of these torches up to the top. Like, let's just see. Let's gauge our angle per se. Yeah, I can definitely do it from here. Let's get a little distance. Oh, pfft. Not mean to let go of the button. Mm. Oh, Got to be a little bit to the right, and I hope this works. Well, whatever it's gonna do. Oh come on! I hit the thing and it didn't ignite. Cheap bargain price torches. Shouldn't have got these at the Dollar Tree. Okay, so that opens that. Good. <laughs> So now I guess I can use the crate to get up there, perhaps, maybe? Probably from up here instead, not from down there. Because this whole uh, stone wall is in my way. Okay. Puzzle solved. Wait, 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 actually. If I go through here, will it reset the door? Okay. Just want, I was a little worried about that. I want to see what's in this crate just in case. Okay. I figured, like, just to be sure there wasn't a skull to lot or something in there. Wait, 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 wait. The last time I was down in one of these rooms, or hallways, I should say, a lake like ambushed me. <laughs> and it was very, very mean. Oh. Oh no. 
Oh. Oh. Not this room. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is this. Just to take care of this right away. When you ever, whenever you see a pillar like this, hit it with your Megaton Hammer. And it'll go down to the floor below it. In this case, this is to access the boss room. I think. <laughs> but I don't want to go down there just yet. Obviously, there's more stuff to clear out in this uh, dungeon. So, we're going to have to keep exploring. But, oh man, the, this fire bar room. I hate it so much. I hate it so much. Or firewall room, whatever you want to call it. Please don't lock me out. Okay. I hear a skull too long. I hear one twitching. Where is it anyway? Mm. I'll get myself to the other side just because I can. Rusty switch. I'll hit it just because I can. <laughs> oh, there's a door down there, okay. Um, so these firewalls prevent me from going onto that path right away, I guess. At least I think this is all firewall here. Yeah. So I can't get down there just yet, but I did open that door for the future. Very good to know, because I will be down that path eventually. It's a, it's a crossover room on this lower floor here once I jump down. I really don't like... This is why. This is the... Bane of whoa my existence. This right here is just oh my god. Because these firewalls they block your way and they pop out out of nowhere. So it's like okay, there's an intersection. Is it going to be a firewall? Oh no, it's not this all. But there's one here. You see what I mean about this? The wider, I mean the wider paths pathways right here usually don't have firewalls. But you never know. They might just decide to screw you. <laughs> Yeah, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh. oh. So much patience involved with this dang room. Uh, fairy, 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 fairy. What? Oh, there we go. Why can't I get those fairies right away anyway? I don't know. Eh, eh, eh. Okay, now I'm in the uh, hallway that we couldn't access before. That's the door that I unlocked from the other side. Oh! I think there's a Skulltula right behind that wall, and very close behind that wall. It's a good thing I heard it's... ing Yay! How many is that now? Did I get them all yet? No, that must be like four then. Okay. Through here we go, and this leads me to the other side of this deathly firewall. So, no! Whoa, whoa. Is this a red her herring room? Ow. They don't do much damage, but dang, they're annoying. More annoying than anything ever. Even me. <laughs> and that's saying something. Okay. Switch. Boink. It's probably a time switch. It is. Did I want to get across here right away? I don't know, but I did. <laughs> I just wonder if I was supposed to do that now, or if I missed something in the earlier rooms. I don't I don't really think I did, honestly. Because if you look back... Oh no! There is a treasure chest there. Oh wait, that's, that's in the room that I couldn't access earlier. That was in that locked room. Okay, okay, we're, st we're still on track here, and I still haven't visited that side of the temple that will let me access the fifth floor. Okay. Ah. Uh, what was the name of you again? I'd like to call you by your proper name here. Flare Dancer. With your gracefulness, you will possibly kill me and actually very likely kill me. Can I, like, hookshot you? I bet you hookshot, hookshotting you would save me a couple arrows. Ugh. I don't think that did any damage when I hit him with the arrow there. <laughs> That's kind of that's kind of sucky there. Although I don't necessarily have to hit him with um, an arrow. I can just like hit him with his sword as he goes around like that twice. I guess. Oh, it just takes so long to kill. Why do you have to take so long to kill? And I got rid of my bombs. Why? 
I knew that I needed those bombs, and yet I got rid of them. That, I, yeah, I, I even know that doesn't make sense, and yet I still did it. <laughs> Come on. Stay in place, owl. Going around. Ring around the rosy, are you? Ain't gonna happen. Now he's probably gonna be green. Yep, there we go. I'm doing a lot better against this one than I was the other one, because I actually know how to kill it this time, rather than completely forgetting how to kill it. Come on. Come on, you twitchy little thing. No, no, I didn't want to... <laughs> I didn't mean to climb that at all. There we go. Woo! I, I, always, I mean, I forgot that it was going to explode again. You could tell an enemy is, or, I mean, enemy is going to explode when they, like, expand. And this is an elevator, isn't it? But first, does this give me anything? No. Okay, let's go up. Right? You're an elevator, right? Yeah, you're an elevator. Whoa, 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 I seen that! I seen that down there! I seen that under the fire. Ah, oh, there we go. You can't fool me, Johnson. We've went through this before. Now, go back up. There we go. You do that, and I'll get this key. <laughs> I am glad I have such a sharp eye for that. Or I should say I had a sharp eye for that. Now, plop back down here, please. Thank you very much. And now, take me back up. Yay! Should have did elevator music there. <laughs> ah, classic. Anyway, what is this? Nothing. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm gonna end off the part here before I go any further because I'm 19 minutes. Well, I've been recording for 19 minutes for this part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. Hopefully we'll finish the Fire Temple soon, jeez.